So I'm sitting here talking with Rodriguez, a musical artist who uh, is the star of a movie called Searching for Sugar Man, uh, which I saw uh, Rodriguez at its very first screening at the Sundance Film Festival in January. Yes. We're now almost in October of 2012. Yes. You're going to be performing at the El Rey Theater tonight, yes. and you're going to be performing at Carnegie Hall next year, you say, in and April. at Coachella. At Coachella in the festival, yeah. So how, how has your life changed since this movie came out? Well, um, I think what, what helped make that change was that it won uh, the film itself uh, directed by Malik ben um won the People's Choice Award and the uh, Global Documentary Award, and that has uh, what caused this stir. And we've been uh, at the screening since January, you know, promoting the film. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was, that made a difference. Did you did you expect your musical career to kind of take off again? and to be discovered by American audiences? Did you think that would happen? Well, yeah, it was my hope to uh, to, uh, to break into the American market, but what uh, also had occurred was Light in the Attic, uh, a label, Seattle uh, record label, uh, in, in LA label, uh, reissued my albums in 08 as well, so I met Malik Ventura at the same time, so those two things occurred, and, and so it's in, it excites my music career, really, yeah. I, has it been, um, this, the, the movie tells a story of, of you being one of the, the early important folk uh, singer-songwriter voices in Detroit in the late 60s, telling these really beautiful tales in, in song, and then you, you kind of, your career didn't happen. Were you angry about that? Well, I was too, Susan Weissman, I was too disappointed to be disappointed. Uh, you do music, you know, in hopes of achieving the success, but uh, certain things practice happen, like, uh, and that you can't, uh, that plays into the success of music, so, um, yeah, I was, uh... Well, you went, you, you supported yourself, I mean, you were poor, yes? We talked about, you said, don't, you told me not to whisper. <laughs> You know, well, it, well uh, people put whisper things, and, and you know, it's, but no, uh, no. Uh, you did construction work. Sure, I did. I'm, I'm working class, if that's poor, and I think a lot, I know a lot of people well below the poverty line, and I can include myself in that lifestyle for many, many years, so, uh, so yeah. But you remained, you remained an artist, you remained a musician, I mean, and, and, that that's the part that you you don't seem angry in what seems unusual to me, you know that you've had this, you've gone from such a, a an extreme yes. in your life from from poverty and construction and now to you be performing. Yeah, I'm on the brink of uh, real uh, real success. At age, I'm a solid seventy. I've done yes, the, you are. I've done <laughs> I've done the forties, the fifties, the sixties, the seventies, the eighties. The 90s, the zeros, and working on the 10s, just like everyone else. So um, I'm lucky to have this good fortune happen at such a late date. So. And, and did you and did you always feel like this was going to happen for you someday, or did you, well, or is it just a big surprise and you take it as? Well, I, I, we all have expe great expectations for everything. So yeah, I was. I'm no different than that in that respect. But, I want to make something of myself through music, as a, but now it's an actual profession, so I'm glad I made that choice. But I've been chasing music since I was 16, and so, uh, yeah, I enjoy it. I love to play music, but I also love to listen. I, I, that's also, uh, uh, I, I, I like to hear new music and other music. And so. And you're writing new well, yeah, music I now. Do, I mean, will I you do. have an album, or do you have I, tracks? I have just to be issues, and that's what I'm working. Uh, uh, Light in the Attic be issued. Uh, my cold fact, I'm coming from reality albums. And, uh, Tell us the names of your of the albums you're going to reissue. Uh, the, oh, the name of the album sets Light in the Attic be issued with, uh, uh, called Cold Fact. Cold and, Facts, okay. And coming from reality. So, coming from reality. Yeah, and so, and uh, yeah. And 
I would say of all, I mean, tell me some of the feedback that you're hearing from your new fans. Are they young? Are they? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, have, a, I have a mature audience, and I also have a, a lot of young ones in the audience. In South Africa, I have my fan base are Afrikaans. And they're pretty much in my audience in America and everywhere I travel in the, in the world. Uh, Afrikaans are, uh, are in my audience and, and Australians as well. But now we're breaking into the American And what, what do they say? I mean, what, what's the message they give you? Um, oh, 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 well, that they grew up with my music and, uh, and that uh, and they knew my material. And they're out there singing with me as a matter of fact. Too. And, and the new fans, do they, what do they say? Oh, well. Uh, there's different ones. Uh, as I discover America through the uh, concerts, the, and I have a lot of young blood fans, and they're very enthused. And uh, they ask me questions like what books to read and things like that. It kind of catches me because, and then I can't think of what can I offer them as a book, you know. So like that. It's, and so I get the mature audiences too, um, the older hippies, so to speak. So. Fantastic. Well, good luck with the film Thank this you. Oscar season and good luck with your recording and your performing career. It's been beautiful to see that unfold. Susan Weissman, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Rodriguez. Good luck. Bye. Bye.